हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर फेवरेट चैनल इन लव और वेलकम बैक टू बीइंग इन लव कैन यू हियर द साइलेंस द गोल्डन साउंड ऑफ साइलेंस आई एम एट अ वेरी 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 ट्रैंक्विल एंड पीसफुल एंड करिज्मेटिक प्लेस हियर ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ दिल्ली and uh, i just can't wait to share with you all where i am right now this place holds the most special place in my heart this is the place from where i received the blessing of meditation this is the place where i received the blessings of my master This is the place where my romance my mad romance with my master began and this place is everything to me you guys and today is the blessed day when I'm getting to share with you after so long and after having so many requests this beautiful blessed place this Osho ashram known as Osho Dham in Delhi this place is known as Osho Dham and it is situated in Najafgarh and um, if i were to be very accurate it's just on the outskirts of delhi and i happen to be a resident of delhi coming here just takes me about 1 hour or 45 minutes right now the time is let me check i just reached actually It's around 8:30 and I reached here just half an hour ago and now is the time to go for dinner and I have to wear my maroon robe for that since I just came from the outside I didn't get the time to change now I'm going to change into my maroon robe and then I'm going to take you to dinner so come along i'm going to share my entire activities here at the ashram and this is the first time i'm going to document it all for you guys my subscribers so stay tuned and come on let's go ta da <laughs> so so yes as you can see i have changed into my maroon robe and now is the time to head out to the cafeteria area where i am going to have my dinner and let me show you the amazing the simply amazing food that we get here it's really a blessing it's really a bonus on all of the meditations that they teach here the food is a plus point i come here for the food as well don't tell them <laughs> Let's go. So now I'm heading towards the dining area and um this is my room and I got to be like a little silent in respect of all the meditators that are meditating here and have come here for a peaceful time in a quiet time. So I am going to be a little hush hush now but let's go. So this is my dinner for tonight. So let's enjoy it. This is the view of the cafeteria in the night. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow morning. 
and yes I just had my dinner now I am heading for a walk and then I'll retire in my room so a very good morning guys I completely dozed off last night and I couldn't shoot any further beyond my dinner as I was super tired and um, yes today is a new day and today happens to be a very very special occasion at Oshodham. It happens to be the Mahaparinirvan day of the founder of uh, this ashram of Oshodham and it's Swami Om Prakash Saraswati Ji and today it's gonna be a celebration day and, and I can't wait to join the celebrations and it is nine o'clock right now I'm heading for my breakfast and yes after that uh, the celebrations will begin so join me Okay, so I happen to finish my breakfast now and now I'm heading to the Buddha Hall. Buddha Hall is the place where all the meditations take place and as I told you, the celebrations will be beginning from now on. So without waiting any further, let's go. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Buddha Hall and I guess some kind of laughter meditation is already going on. So let me show you a glimpse of it. Okay, so right now in Buddha Hall, a discourse of Osho is playing and I thought this is the best time to show you around because everybody is inside the Buddha Hall and the scenic beauty is gonna be all splendid, wild and alone, aloof. And I think this is the best time to show you how beautiful this ashram is and how gorgeous the greenery of this place is. 
so as you can see that right there is the buddha hall and i'm gonna take you around i'm gonna take you on the circumference of this place and i'm gonna show you how gorgeous a place can be if one decides if one enlightened soul decides to create a space for meditators what it turns out to be and how existence also showers its beauty on the place okay so as i was talking about uh, the founder of this place swami om prakash saraswati ji he was a very very uh, a very devoted disciple of osho and uh, osho basically directed him to go to delhi and build an ashram for all the meditators in delhi and that is how this place was born that is how this place was conceived and uh, this is basically the story of the foundation of osho dham and uh, this place really is filled with the energy of two enlightened beings one is the master himself osho and second of course is om prakash saraswati ji who also happened to be enlightened later in life and uh, that makes this place all the more special and uh, you know staying in delhi one tends to lose contact with nature and because of that there are many repercussions that one goes through and one faces and um, the mental peace and the joy and the harmony that nature naturally bestows on us we really go on missing on that so whenever i visit this place i really realize what all i'm missing in life when i connect back with nature and what all we all are missing and if nature is your thing then this place is for you guys and uh, that's not very far for all the scenic beauty that i'm going to show you and i'm sure you would love to come to this place all this beauty and all this amazingness i wish i could send some of this fresh air and some of this beautiful meditative energy right to you through the screen <laughs> let me show you the flowers here just look at this gorgeous bunch and look at this field you know most of the food that we consume here at the ashram at oshodham most of it is grown in house most of it i mean the wheat is grown here that is what we consume in the chapatis and the vegetables are also to a great extent like some vegetables most of them are grown here organically i mean as delhiite i'm not used to having this fresh and organic you know food so yeah i really enjoy my time here at oshodham whenever i get to have something organic and something so very simple like a radish can be so tasty i had no idea being in the company of people who themselves are treading on their inner journeys and are meditators can be really helpful and that's 
the one thing which I realized when I reached here by coming to this place, you know, which is secluded from this society and uh, which is full of people who are thinking like you, who have same journeys like you, who have faced same rejections and resistance from the society like you. Being here with those people can really be a helpful experience. And yes, being initiated by the same master, I think fills you with similar energies. And we all kind of like vibrate as a single unit, as a one unit. And that is quite a powerful thing to feel how so many people can vibrate as a single energy. I guess that's what the beauty of a commune is, how Master himself explained. You know, a lot of Osho's philosophy had to do with the Zen philosophy, which basically originated in Japan and um, that's one of the reasons why the architecture of this place is very much zen-like. And as you might have noticed, bamboos are almost everywhere inside the ashram. They are everywhere. Bamboos are everywhere inside Osho Dham. That's because Osho loved bamboos. And again, I think they are pretty much a part of the Zen philosophy and has to do a lot with Zen. So I think the discourse session just got over and everybody is out for a tea break. Can you hear the birds chirping? I don't remember the last time I heard a bird in Delhi. Oh my god, is that a peacock? <coughs> my god. Let's try not to scare the peacock away, but what colors? I hope my camera does some justice. I'm outside my room. And again, as you can see, the whole black architecture, the Zen architecture, and uh, I'll be resting for a while in my room now, and then I'll be heading to the next meditation session, which is, I think, after 15 minutes or so. So now is the evening time and we are sort of done for the day. The day meditations are over. I really couldn't shoot the meditation sessions because there were many other people as well. And I do want to respect their privacy. And uh, yes, now is the time for 
white robe meditation and uh, it is basically an evening celebration and yes for that as the name suggests I have to change my red robe I have to wear a white one and I have to take a shower before that and so many other things yeah that's it I'll see you during the white robe session now all right come along so as you can see I've changed into my white robe and now is the time for the evening celebration so let's go